Well, thank you, Mr. President. And let me also greet you all. Welcome to the Aula Magna. And a special welcome to our two lecturers, this year's laureates in economic sciences. These two are really true innovators. And both of them have done path-breaking work uh, that has stimulated uh, very exciting renewal of economic research. Um, in introducing our first lecture, uh, let me recall a common description of economic theory. It, meaning economic theory, always builds on very strong assumptions. Agents are motivated by pure self-interest and are capable of making rational economic decisions also in very, very complex situations. Now, this picture um, may have been reasonably accurate um, 20 years ago, but uh, nowadays it's becoming more and more of a bad caricature. In fact, many researchers uh, today in the new fields of behavioral economics and behavioral finance are now working with models that are modified to incorporate things like limited rationality and intrinsic motivations um, other than self-interest. And this work has important roots uh, in results on behavior under uncertainty by researchers in economics as well as psychology. Many scholars can be cited as uh, predecessors here, actually including two earlier prize winners, Herbert Simon and uh, Maurice Allais. But it's really one of this year's laureates who paved the way for the present research in behavioral economics. Born in Tel Aviv, he took a PhD in psychology at Berkeley in 1961. His first job, uh, academic job, was at Hebrew University in Jerusalem, where he would stay on for almost 20 years. In Jerusalem, he began collaborating with Amos Tversky, and little did he know how long and how far that collaboration would carry on. In fact, most of his well-known contributions, including those recognized by the Academy, were done, done jointly with Tversky, who died in 1996. Thus, he used surveys and experiments to show how judgments and decisions in uncertain situations might systematically depart from the common assumptions as well as the common predictions of traditional economic theory. And in the same collaboration, he also developed an alternative model called prospect theory to better explain observed decision making. Later in life, um, he has held professors, professorships at UBC in Vancouver and at UC Berkeley. Since 1993, he's a professor of psychology and public affairs at Princeton. And the day after tomorrow, he will be a co-recipient of the 2002 Bank of Sweden Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel for having integrated insights from psychological research into economic science, especially concerning human judgment and decision-making under uncertainty. It's a great honor for me to ask him to give his lecture, Maps of Bounded Rationality, Professor Daniel Kahneman.